back to another video and it's been a while since I did an acoustic guitar and this one came in so I thought I would uh, get it on the channel to show you. It's a 2015 uh, Epiphone Century Masterbuilt Deluxe and um, I think what we'll do, we'll go over the spec now and then we'll do some sounds uh, with it mic'd up and through the camera mic um, and then I'll get on to why I think that if you're mainly an electric player and you can never quite get on with acoustics, a bridge like this one has might be uh, might be what you're looking for. So coming in close then, you've got a solid spruce top on this one and laminated maple back and sides. And the back does have a bit of a sort of flame to it there if the camera's picking that up. Coming on to the front, you've just got a basic sort of bit of binding around the sound hole and then sort of two ply binding on the outside. Uh, the neck is a highlight of this guitar to be fair, you've got an ebony fingerboard just there show you the end lays uh, up close and it's um, 20 frets and 24 and a half inch scale and the thickness the sort of carve it's a sort of medium to full C but it's not super wide this way so again it feels reasonably familiar you got a graph tech nut just there as well uh, and then these tuners uh, they've got this sort of like marbleoid sort of plastic marble look effect on the keys a bit of a funny shape and then show you the machine heads these have been pretty good to be fair I haven't had to, to mess around with these they've been nice and stable and then on the neck just there you can see it's a five piece and it's a mix of mahogany and maple with the stripes and it looks pretty cool with the sort of burst up and down the neck there as well so that's the sort of basic uh, specs of this guitar it does have a preamp system in it as well, a shadow, I think, shadow nano preamp system. Uh, but it's not working on this guitar, so we're just going to be hearing it through a microphone play today. Which for me doesn't bother me because I have never heard a piezo I actually liked the sound of, uh, no matter how expensive. So we'll, we'll check it, you know, we'll check that out and then I'll come back and sort of explain myself about this bridge. <laughs> a bit about how this guitar sounds then, like I said, through the room mic and the uh, the close mic just there. Um, like I said, the preamp in this guitar is not working, um, but that's that's no big deal to me anyway. But let's talk about this bridge then and why I think that if, if you know, you predominantly play electric and you struggle with acoustics, then this bridge works. If I can sort of come in and get the camera to sort of focus on it, rather than my face. So you can see then these this little metal thing under the bridge here is an adjuster, so this bridge floats on those, very much sort of like uh, a tunematic style guitar, Les Paul, something like that, and that allows you to get the string action down way lower than you can normally. And I'll just show you actually, 
uh, my own acoustic guitar. Um, so this is a um, an old vintage. Uh, I forget the model name, but it's it's a cheap but all solid, half decent acoustic. But to get the action to where I want it, um, again I'm getting the camera to focus. Can you see how little saddle there is left? Because I've sanded it down and down and down. Just so I can sort of pick it up and, and not struggle with it. Because again, I don't really play... I don't really play acoustics a great deal. I'm an electric player. This one, I've managed to get the action down to... Basically the same as where it is on my strap. And it plays all the better for it. So, if you're struggling in that regard... Try and find one with a bridge like this and try it, and I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. So, links to this guitar are down below as always. It does come with a, um, a padded gig bag and stuff like that, and obviously it's cheaper with the electronics uh, not working as well. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the guitar. And um, actually, give me some other acoustic recommendations. Um, again, knowing that I don't tend to get on with them that well, um, because I just prefer electrics. But... What have you played out there that I won't have come across yet? And, um, and that's it, so I'll see you in the next